Howdy folks, Brian Cusco here at Triple B, back at the Roseville Reptile Show. We're gonna have Rainbows Are Us sit down with us. Actually, it's gonna be one half of Rainbows Are Us, that's Dez. And she's the wife of Dave, who she supports in his business of Rainbows Are Us. I always thought it was the other way around, just glancing at the booth and walking by and kind of in passing. I just kind of assumed that Dez was the master and commander and, and Dave was there to support her. So when I thought otherwise, I decided I still wanted to have her sit down and talk about being that supportive half and uh, well, you, you, you decide. You watch Triple B TV. Ah, that seems like, seems like, is that a he or a she? I have no idea. It's okay. Probably a male if I had to guess, because okay. I would think his females are, what do you call it, brumating or whatever. Thank you for coming to sit down. No problem. I appreciate it. I, I, when I've been to the California shows, I've seen you guys booth and I, I recognize you all the time. Do, do you prefer uh, Des or Desiree? Either's fine. Either's fine? Okay. We almost had Dave come over and sit down. Yes. And then at the last Tried week... Tried to talk you into Dave. Yeah. And we start talking and you and you're telling me about... How that you're just not really into snakes, you don't know much about them, and I was like, I, I just assumed that since I've always seen you at the booth, that you were just there as much as that. Maybe even you were the one that was in charge of the snake stuff, and Dave was just there to support you. That's right. for all I knew. That's what was happening. Now it wasn't necessarily the case, but I kind of preferred you to come over and tell that side of the story because we don't hear about that as much. We always get people sitting down like, oh, I've been into snakes since I was a kid, and right. and this and that. Right. But but you can kind of take or leave snakes for the most part. Yes. So I was never exposed to snakes as a kid or growing up, so I didn't do, I guess, the typical, not to be gender specific, but the boy, boy thing of going and catching snakes and bringing them home. Dave did, and his mom said, no, you can't keep those. Um, so we were dating, and we went to some park, and there was one laid out on the road. Dave goes and gets it. Well, we had friends that were into reptiles, so he was supposed to bring the snake home for that person. Dave decided to keep it. Again, we were dating at the time. So you're going 35 years ago-ish. Okay. Um, the snake never adapted to captivity and he ended up releasing it because it just wasn't a adjusting. Um, from there, he purchased rainbow boas. My deal was always, that's fine. You take care of them. So I'm not afraid of them. I have one. I'm not not afraid of these guys. I'm going to get some shots. If you keep them above the table, there, I'll get some shots but of they're, them. But they're not my thing. I don't feed them. I don't clean their cages. It's it's all him. Um, he also breeds the rats and mice. I don't take care of those as well. I've tried a little bit. One time he had a broken collarbone to try to help him, but it's just not my comfort level, not my thing. Um, actually, the rats and mice, I think I have allergies to. Mm. But no, this is all him, so I'm I'm okay with it, but it's not my passion. Dave is very, very extremely passionate, especially when it comes to rainbow boas. I am not. I mean, I think they're beautiful animals. I'm kind of responsible for him having rainbow boas because when he started this, he said, are all snakes brown? And again, my ignorance, right? Are they all brown? What about something a little bit pretty, you know, being female, right? What about something a little bit prettier? So, hence the rainbow boas, but yeah. I, it, it doesn't bother me, he just loves it, so I'm here to support him. I started doing my own jewelry and plush to try to help him offset the expenses of doing an expo, and that's really what I do. He kind of stays on his side of the booth with the animals, and I stay on my side of the booth with the non-live animals, and it just, I guess it works. Yeah, I think he it, just he just loves this. Yeah, I think it does. Well, like I was saying, you know, when we were first talking, that it's very important that if somebody is into something like that, like like as passionate as Dave is, like that he he clearly has your full support. Correct. I mean, you're at all the shows. Again, I I just kind of assumed they were your thing, and he was there to support <laughs> you. That's no, completely the other way around. I mean, we started off doing shows, doing NBHS, which used to be at Petaluma. And we'd have one table and trying to figure out how to fill up one table. Now we have four tables and sometimes trying to figure out how to keep everything on four tables and have enough room. So yeah, this, this has always been him and me supporting him. I have a, a full-time job, so this, this is something I do to support him. So this for Dave started out as a hobby. Then it was a hobby slash business. 
Then he got laid off uh, 2013, if I have my year right, and this became his full-time job. Awesome. That's fantastic, which people probably would not have been able to do without your support. Correct. Am I correct? Correct. So do, are you guys working with, so obviously rainbows are the thing. Are there any other snakes, or is it just rainbow boas? No, he has boa constrictors as well, but he, his heart is not in those like these guys it's, it's the rainbows. and he likes to you know play kind of the mad scientist with the different morphs and different genes and what happens if i do this and let me try to prove out the genetics and I, my head starts to spin i'm like again have fun you, so is you he, do you is he working with like the um like hypo or leukistic or he is yes nice and then I, I imagine he's got, you know, the Brazilian and Colombian happening. Um, he doesn't have, we've never bred Colombians. We've um, consigned Colombians, but we've never bred. Uh, he's just not as crazy about them because they tend to be much browner color, so he'd prefer these. As you probably know, he discovered his own morph, which is the candy stripe, and he's just in complete awe and in heaven with them. So he keeps working with those to try to keep... Uh, producing those in the bright colors. We get calls all the time. I want a bright red, and it's almost kind of comical for me sometimes. You kind of get what you get. I mean, Dave has continued to breed for high color, but we have no guarantees what comes out. But for the most part, just like people, you breed two really high colored animals, odds are you're gonna get high colored animals. But yeah, those are the most in demand. Um, we get it all the time. He maintains his Facebook page, but I'm also a co, whatever you call it, where I can see. And that's what I always see. Do you have any high red? Do you have any high red? They're yeah. amazing snakes. I mean, the, yeah, red and orange is a color in snakes for whatever reason. Just like really, also for me, like, a, like if you find like a highlighter blue, which the only you see in some yeah. vipers, but yeah, just some of the colors just really blow people away. Especially like you're saying with the rainbows, to have that high orange and red color in, rain, in rainbow boas, and they're, they're such interesting looking looking boas they don't really look like any other boa out there well the iridescent if you get them out in the sun is really crazy um i also appreciate <laughs> for somebody who's not crazy about snake the size this is a full-grown adult so they're not massive so they're they're just not quite as intimidating yeah. not that i suggest people be intimidated by the larger snakes but you know quite handleable but yeah, as you very can handleable. tell also very active they usually don't settle down too much, but they are a pretty, again, as far as snakes go, since it's not my thing, they are a pretty snake. Yeah, and they're, and they're curious and moving around, but not zipping around. There's kind of a slow, easy movement. And these guys are a little cool because they're not in their normal habitat out at the show. So I can feel the body is a little cool, so probably just soaking up some of the heat off of me too. That's a nice, that's the cool thing about being a human that really likes snakes. I mean, not that you really like snakes, but snakes, I'm okay with them. snakes <laughs> like the humans because we seem to be a pretty good temperature for most species where like our body temperature is like, this is comfortable. Right. And it it kind of works out being a mutually beneficial experience uh, in that sense. If the snake can learn to be cool with you, they're like, well, and you have a nice temperature now that I know you're not going to kill me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is kind of cool. You make kind of a warm tree. Yeah, exactly. It's like a tree that, that keeps you at a nice comfy temperature. It's perfect. Well, Des, I, I appreciate you coming and, and sitting down and, and talking with me for a minute. It, it's it's awesome. It, it means a lot. I think you. Right, thank you. I think that... Uh, I think that Dave probably would have done fine, but I think that this was this was better for what I Dave would like. Dave would get to. into his passion once he gets going. You you can't stop him, but yeah. Yeah, well, I, I think you did a fantastic job. Thank I, you. I appreciate it. Of course. Thank you for taking the time. All right. Seriously. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us for today's interview. Uh, as we do with all our guests tonight, we're going to have a Zoom call with definitely Dave and maybe Des. We kind of wanted to see the the half that you didn't get to meet on today's video, and maybe Des will be there too. But definitely Dave. Um, Right after this video is over, we'll be going right into that Zoom call, Q&A. Link down in the description for that. I appreciate you guys tuning in every time. And uh, I think we're going to have one more interview here at the Rosa Reptile Show before we move on to our next show and segment of Universe. And until then, you guys take care.